Two Chairs No Wedding, episode number 373, Touches of Mayberry. Two Chairs No Wedding is brought to you each week by the fine folks over at WeaversDepartmentStore.com. Drop by over at Weavers, it's springtime. At least when I'm recording this, it's time to head out and get you some Mayberry t-shirts and show some of that Mayberry pride. Lots of shirts there to look through. But a couple of them I want to point out is the property of Mayberry Union High Athletic Department t-shirt. That's a great shirt. And another one that I really like is a Barney Fife's You're Not Talking to a Jerk, You Know t-shirt. Head over to weaversdepartmentstore.com and check them out. Two Chairs No Waiting is also brought to you by donations from listeners just like you. An executive producer of episode number 373 is Larry Taylor. He's one of our patrons over at Patreon. So I want to thank him for uh, helping support the show. And I want to thank you for being here uh, to be a part of the show tonight, today, whatever time it is when you're listening. It's always great to have you here with me. And we can talk about the Andy Griffith Show. Now, I ran across some uh, pretty cool stuff this past week. Uh, is a, uh, a newspaper clip because I'm always looking for stuff for the uh, podcast. And I thought this would be a fun one because we got a couple of topics. We're going to talk about uh, this uh, newspaper article we had. Plus, we're going to talk at the end of the show about the Mayberry meetup that we're going to be planning uh, for July. So it's coming up in July. So if you want to be a part of that, uh, stick around toward the end, and we will talk about when it's going to be and for you to make plans to uh, attend down there. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to be talking this evening or this to, during this episode about uh, an article I ran across that was in the Daily Journal from the Kankakee Valley, Illinois, uh, newspaper. Boy, I hope I said that right. I've been practicing. I I couldn't figure out how to say it, so I looked it up online and found out this is it. Kankakee. Kankakee. There we go. (laughs) So I went out and found out how to say the Kankakee Valley, Illinois, paper. I want to thank them. They're the Daily Journal. It's the daily-journal.com. They gave me permission to use this article. And it, the article's name is Andy Griffith's Hometown Abounds with Mayberry Touches. And uh, we're going to be uh, going through that here in just a few seconds. And as I said, we're going to also be talking about the uh, Mayberry Meetup. So I want you to, I hope you guys can attend that. That's been a lot of fun. This will be our, well, I don't know, one, two, it's at least the third year of this. I guess it's the third year of having the meetup there in Mount Airy, and it's been a lot of fun. So I've had a lot of fun doing it. All right, so let's head on over. Uh, let's see, I didn't pick out my music tonight, but uh, I'm going to play, let's do this one. There we go, a little bit of background music. Carl Benson and his orchestras, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. All right, so we're going to listen to that uh, music in the background as I read this a great story to you from the Daily Journal, daily-journal.com, by the way, so you can head over there and check it out. All right, so let's, uh, let's go on and read this thing. The article's name is Andy Griffith's Hometown Abounds with Touches of Mayberry. Okay, so obviously this article is about uh, Mount Airy, North Carolina. And uh, that's where the Mayberry Meetup's going to be. So this is, fits in perfect. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this. I thought it was a nice article. It's by Jackie Finch. Uh, she's the uh, author of the article. And it says, The familiar whistled theme song floats through the air. A well-worn wooden chair where Sheriff uh, Taylor sat waits by his desk. His typewriter and vintage phone and gel cell keys are neatly arranged nearby. And a continuous loop of the Andy Griffith Show plays on all on an old TV. Although the Andy Griffith Show ended in 1968 after eight years of, as a fan favorite, this place makes it seem as though you've somehow stepped back through a time tunnel back to Mayberry and all of its quirky, lovable characters. So many people grew up with the Andy Griffith Show, and then they come here. Uh, And when they come here, they feel like they're coming home, said Tanya Jones, uh, leading a tour of the Andy Griffith Museum in Mount Airy, North Carolina. She says Andy used street names and people's names from here in his show. If you walk around town, you'll see many familiar names. Born on June 1st, 1926 in Mount Airy, Andy Samuel Griffith and his parents lived 
with friends until they could afford, uh, afford a place of their own. A uh, quote from Tanya here is, His family was very, very poor, uh, Jones said. Uh, without a crib, uh, baby Andy slept in a dresser drawer. That's right. An only child, Griffith discovered a heartwarming sound of acceptance and applause when he was in the third grade. Griffith and one of his friends were supposed to sing in a local school program. When the curtain opened, however, the friend backed out and Griffith had to appear on stage by himself. Alone in the spotlight, Griffith sang, Put on your old gray bonnet and brought down the house. A little boy, the little boy never forgot that loving feeling. Griffith also uh, met the grade school buddy, Emmett Forrest, who would become his lifelong best friend. A uh, quote here says, uh, Most of the artifacts and collectibles in the museum here, uh, there in, in Mount Airy, were given by Andy to Emmett, Tanya Jones said. A September 1963 wall calendar on the museum set of the Andy Griffith Show promotes uh, Andy or promotes Mayberry character Emmett Clark's Fix It Shop. A TV nod to Griffith's old pal. After high school, uh, Griffith enrolled to become a Moravian minister at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill in 1944. But while in college, Griffith rekindled his love affair for theater and music, graduating in 1949 with a degree in music. Teaching high school for almost three years, Griffith and his bride, Barbara Edwards, decided to go on the road with a singing, dancing, and monologue show. One of Griffith's monologues, what it was, was football, was released commercially in 1953 and became one of the most popular comedic monologues of all time. From then on, it was theater, movies, and television, including the popular Andy Griffith Show, and later the legal drama Matlock from 1986 to 1995. Griffith died of a heart attack on July the 3rd, 2012, at his coastal home in Roanoke Island, North Carolina, where he was buried. For Henry Atkinson of Atlanta, coming to Mount Airy is a dream come true. Quote, he says, I used to watch Andy Griffith show as a boy, and I really thought there was a town named Mayberry. He went on to say, uh, sauntering through downtown Mount Airy, that uh, I imagine this place is about as close as you can come. I almost expect to see Andy and Barney walking down the street right here. Devoted fans can stay at Griffith's boyhood home at uh, 711, 711 East Haymore Street. You can stay in his house. Pretty cool. The small two-bedroom, one-bath bungalow is where Griffith lived until he graduated from high school. Now owned by the nearby Hampton Inn, the house has board games and tapes of the Andy Griffith Show for nostalgic entertainment. And then, you know, there's the museum with its life-size bronze statue of Andy and Opie heading out for the old fishing hole. Inside the museum is a wealth of items from all stages of Griffith's life as well as mementos from fellow actors. The rocking chair, built in 1927 by his father, was where young Andy was soothed to sleep. School photos show Andy with a head of wavy hair and outsized ears. A glass display con case contains Sheriff Taylor's uniform shirt, and another case has Ben Matlock's white suit. That's a striped suit. But. Also on display is a salt and pepper wool suit Barney wore when dressed to impress. The slingshot Opie used to accidentally kill baby bird or the bird's mama. Baby bird's mama is there. 
as is an exhibit on Betty Lynn, the actress who played Barney Fife's one true love, Thelma Lou. In fact, Betty Lynn fell in love with Mount Airy after being a guest at the annual Mayberry Days held every September. Uh, Tanya Jones says, Betty Lynn decided to move here in 2007 and comes to the museum air on third Friday of every month to meet visitors. She's in her 90s now, and people just love her. After attending Mayberry Days for the first time in 1999, Craig Dees was also was so taken with Mount Airy, population is 10,417, that he too moved to town in 2015 and opened a sports restaurant named The Loaded Goat. <laughs> the name is a tribute to a Griffith Show episode featuring a goat that ate dynamite. Yeah, we knew that one. Although downtown Mount Airy has such Mayberry themed shops as Opie's Candy Store and Barney's Cafe and Floyd's Barbershop, the only real Mount Airy business referenced on the show and enjoyed by Andy as a youngster is the Snappy Lunch. Opened in 1920, in the 1920s, I should say, the popular lunch spot is famous for its pork chop sandwich, a massive, a massive fried boneless pork chop with coleslaw and chili and mustard and onions and tomatoes and lettuce and mayo for a modest $4.20. The Visitor Center offers information Helpful folks and free restrooms with signs, two seats, no waiting. <laughs> Remember that episode from Floyd's Barbershop? Two chairs. Two chairs, no waiting. Yeah. If it weren't for the Andy Griffith Show, Mount Airy would probably be a ghost town, says Esther Johnson over at the Visitor Center. She says, people come here because of Andy, and we're glad they do. <laughs> so that article appeared originally on the, I believe it was the 9th of April. Yep, April 9th, 2016, in the Daily Journal at, uh, let's, say it, let's say it again. Kankakee. The Kankakee Valley, Illinois, Daily Journal. So I want to thank them for giving me permission to actually use the article here on the podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. And I, that's just a little bit of the things that you can see in Mount Airy, North Carolina, when you go there. So if you haven't ever been and you're a huge fan of the Andy Griffith Show, which, you know, you must be or you wouldn't be here. You know, that's something uh, that you should try to go and see is Mount Airy hometown. So speaking of that, let's talk about the Mayberry Meetup. Now we're talking about having it this year. On uh, July the 7th and 8th, okay, so it's the 7th and 8th of July, the, uh, that's a Friday and a Saturday, Neil Brower, uh, Professor Brower's class that you guys have heard here on the podcast, he will be there on that Saturday uh, presenting a lecture, and I forgot what the topic is going to be, but it doesn't really matter. But Friday and Saturday, we will be meeting there at the at the uh, uh, for in Mount Airy, North Carolina, and we'll be staying if you're if possible at the Mayberry Motor Inn. So you guys can head over to the Mayberry Motor Inn and get you a room uh, so that you can head over and uh, just be a part of the thing. We're going to be out in the gazebo at the Mayberry Motor Inn. Uh, just go to MayberryMotorIn.com. Get your reservations for that Friday and Saturday. You can also come Thursday. You can stay Sunday. This is all for you, not for me. So uh, definitely I want you to encourage that. But we're all going to get together and go and visit and do things. And we're going to meet up in the evenings out at the gazebo. And we're just going to have a great time there. We've done this in the last several years. I believe, uh, like I said, I think this is at least the third year. We're going to go eat at a place called The Depot which is a, which is a, a nice 
a uh, nice place to eat uh, that's nearby. and uh, It's not there in Mount Airy, but it's in the nearby town. It's a great place for a big crowd to go and eat. We'll go eat there one day. Bring your camera because there's all kinds of cool things to look at at the gazebo, or not the gazebo, at the uh, at at the at that place that I just told you the depot. I can't say. Then we're gonna head back over and meet up at the gazebo there at the uh, the Mayberry Motor Inn and watch episodes of the Andy Griffith Show and eat and fellowship and just have a good time because we've done that the last few years and we've had big crowds of folks show up to do that and do that on Friday and Saturday night. We'll watch episodes of the Andy Griffith Show and visit with one another. And we'll have things planned or at least have things available for you to go and do throughout the uh, weekend, uh, things you can go see. Obviously, we'll go see Neil Brower at, uh, when he presents his lecture. But this, is, this should be a lot of fun. We've done it, uh, like I said, a couple of, couple of times previous. And uh, I've already had people ask me when it was going to be this year. So I want to encourage you to start making plans because you've got to get your room as early as possible to be able to stay there at the Mayberry Motor Inn. Uh, if, you, if you're just in town and you don't, you're not going to have to stay at the Motor Inn, you don't have to. You can just come over there to visit with us. You don't have to have done that. Some of the folks actually drive up. Some of the McKenzie's, they don't live there in Mount Airy, but they don't live too far away, so they drive up every evening and visit with us. And uh, I appreciate them doing that. But, folks, this is a chance for you to not only go and visit Andy Griffith's hometown, but it's also to meet some of the folks that also listen to this podcast and get to know them. And I swear that's one of the the best parts of the whole whole event is being able to meet uh, folks like you, uh, the listeners of this podcast, who are also Andy Griffith Show fans. It's uh, It's always great to meet you and see you. So set your calendars. Get your calendars set up. Uh, and uh, make those calls for the 7th and 8th of July. That's this year, 2016. So if you're listening to this later, don't do it. <laughs> Maybe we'll have one, but it won't possibly be that week. I'll probably try to get up there on Thursday, uh, but uh, we'll see how everything goes. This is the week after the 4th of July. So the 4th of July is on that Monday. So you might have that whole week off. Depends on uh, where you work and how, how it goes. But uh, we'll be uh, the the weekend after the 4th of July is when this will be the 7th and 8th. Neil Brower will be presenting his lecture on that uh, on that weekend. Uh, so in, in the, let's see here. The Andy Griffith Museum is where that would be, uh, uh, where we'll be having that. Uh, 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 well, where Neil's thing will be, I can't actually talk and type. I was trying to talk in to get to the Andy Griffith Museum for you. Uh, but that's where uh, we'll be having the Neil Brower section uh, that evening. And that's a that's a great thing, too, if you've never been there. But if you have been there, you'll still enjoy it, I do believe. But we'll be at the Andy Griffith Museum. You can go to their website. It's andygriffithmuseum.com and check it out. And if you look under the events, you'll be able to see that weekend is Neil Brower will be there. And it's going to be, I was looking up to see what it's going to be. He's going to be doing Andy's Rich Girlfriend as be the topic of his discussion for that class. So uh, admission to Neil's section is free if you uh, have already bought uh, an admission ticket to the museum. Okay, so it's free if you've already been to the museum. So we'll definitely, you'll definitely want to go to the museum if you have never been. And uh, you're going to love this. It's a lot of fun. It's great to see Neil, too. So, all right. So that's what I got for you guys. Uh, I will have a link in the show notes for the article I read so you can go and read it yourself. And I'll have information about the Mayberry Meetup as well. So, folks, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And it's always fun to be able to visit with you. I really hope I get to visit with you in person if you're able to come to the meetup. If not, try to go to one of the other Mayberry events that are scheduled or do both. Even better. You can go over to imayberry.com and to the event calendar. And you can, uh, when you click that, it will show you all the events that are coming up uh, related to the Andy Griffith Show. So just go to imayberry.com. And right there on the front, you'll see an event calendar. And when you go there, it'll tell you, it'll take you over to the eBullets event calendar. And you can look for different Mayberry events that are occurring all over, mostly in the southeast, but all over parts of the country. 
and pick out one and go there. Go. We've talked about them in the last several weeks, and I know you would enjoy it. All right. I don't want to keep just blabbing along, and I hope you guys have enjoyed that, uh, and we'll uh, make make plans to be there. Call the Mayberry Motor in as fast as you can so that you get in and get a room. Uh, they had uh, pretty. They had a lot of rooms available because we checked. So I hope you guys will be able to make it there with us. All right, guys, that is all I have for you this evening, and I hope you uh, hope you've uh, gotten something out of the show. And I'd love to hear from you. You can give me a call at 888-684-8415. You can email me at floyd at imabry.com or just drop by two chairs no and leave a comment there. However you'd like to get in touch with me, I love hearing from you. I hope to see you at the Mayberry Meetup or one of the current uh, other Mayberry events that are coming up soon. I always love to see you. So until next time, folks, have a great Mayberry week, and we'll see you in Mayberry. Good night, everybody.